Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to a new tutorial with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I'm going to show you how to transform this image into this. I'm going to show you a really cool trick um, of color matching using channels and a really simple technique. And you can see the hair over here, we're not going to do any kind of masking. So uh, we will get this without making any kind of masking. So that's what we're going to see in this tutorial. I hope you will like it and let's get started. So we're going to start um, by opening the stock folder and this is the image that we're going to start working with. I'm going to group everything here so I'm going to start creating the effect again. So the first thing we want to do is create a copy of our model and th for this technique to work you need an overexposed sky and uh, it will work a lot better. So this will be our copy and the first thing I want to do is um, create a new sky here and I'm gonna open the stock folder and I tried with several um, images and this one seemed to look um, better for my taste but you can use pretty much any other sky it depends on what kind of effect you want if you want some of that effect to be visible over the whole image uh, let me activate it on full screen so you can see it now the effect is only visible on this area all of this background here is not affected by the curves but if you want to affect that you can double click and decrease the density of it and you can see that now that turns into well uh, the shade of gray which means some of the, the effect passes through the layer mask so i'm gonna leave it to about 90 well 90 it's okay okay so take a look before and after the face is now a lot more illuminated and you can change the colors uh, using the channel. So um, some knowledge of the layer um, of how this channels work is necessary, but uh, it's not really that difficult. I have um, beginner tutorials on psdbox.com. You can find get them for free, so you can watch them there. That's uh, And I'm gonna leave it right over there, like that. And probably with a um, with a gradient, with a radial gradient, I'm gonna create more light on over her face. If you have Lightroom, you can do it in Lightroom. It's just exactly the same. So you can see that over there, a bit of exposure, and drop the highlights a bit, and even more clarity. And I'm gonna click OK and you'll see the before and after. Mm -hmm. See? Before camera raw and after camera raw. And let me show you the original image. We started with this and we ended up with this. So not really complicated. I, I, did, I did this really quick. Um, with a bit more of, uh, time you can get a better result. I'm gonna uh, group everything and show you the original. <laughs> 